G'day people, welcome back to the lab. We have a MacBook Pro here with no sound from the internal speakers and we're going to bypass the headphone jack to fix it. But we're going to go through some simple diagnostics first and you can also do this at home as well. Let's get started. And we have our MacBook here without any speakers. And if we hit play on the video here, and then go volume up, volume down, we see that the speaker's not present whatsoever. So what we need to do is we need to check for an audio signal. And the best way to do that is we plug in some headphones. So I'll just quickly plug those in. And if we have a quick listen here, I'll hold the headphones close to the mic. Let's just put in a brand new ribbon cable and we'll see what happens. Right. We can actually see that uh, our audio signal is going to the actual headphones. But if we unplug again, it will not go through to the speakers. So what that basically comes down to is the audio tip detect circuit. And what that basically does is it detects whether you put the audio plug in the actual side of the MacBook. And that's important because the MacBook wants to know where it can send the audio signal. So obviously if you've got headphones plugged into the MacBook, um, you want the audio signal to go straight to the headphones and not the internal speakers. And vice versa, if you had the plug unattached from the uh, MacBook itself, because the audio isn't going to the headphones, you want them, you want the audio to go to the internal speakers here on the MacBook itself. So that tip detect circuit uh, takes care of that and we'll have a closer look at that right now. First of all, we need to take out our bottom screws here. Um, three of these being long, which is this, this and this, and all the rest are short screws. So nice and easy to take out and we're going to extract them with our triple zero uh, Phillips screwdriver. So we'll make a start on that now. We'll remove the bottom plate and our little audio socket is located in this corner of the logic board. So we'll take a quick look at that under the microscope right now. This is part of the board where we have our audio jack and that's on the other side of the board. And that actually looks like this. Okay, it's just plugged into the other side of the board and just soldered in. On this audio jack, we have our normal pins. So for our headphone speaker, we have our left speaker we have our right speaker we have our ground and we have our microphone input just in case you've got a gaming headset and then we have pins one and two which are part of the tip detect circuit so basically when there's nothing plugged into the jack at all pins one and two are meant to be shorted together and that tells the MacBook to use its internal speakers, obviously. And when you plug a plug into the actual side of the MacBook right here, pins one and two go open circuit, and they tell the MacBook, hey, send all the audio to the uh, headphones, and don't worry about the internal speakers. So what we'll try and do is we'll have a look at pins one and two, We'll see what resistance they are. So because there's nothing plugged in, they should be short circuit. And we'll have a look at our multimeter. And we can see that's reading really high. So it's on the mega ohm setting. So that's 550 kilo ohms, uh, which is uh, very high. It's basically open circuit. And uh, if we short the leads together here, this is what we should essentially get. We should get zero. So because there's nothing plugged into the jack and those pins aren't shorted together in the tip detect circuit, 
uh, we can essentially uh, deduce that this audio jack um, is absolutely stuffed. So what we're going to do is we're going to solder in a wire to short out pins one and two to bypass the tip uh, detect circuit and get the internal speakers up and running. Before we commence any work, we disconnect our battery with a plastic spudger. Just pull that away. Don't disconnect with anything metal because you'll short out these pins here and either do damage to the battery or you'll wipe out your system management controller chip. We're just going to put in our little wire here to short out pin one and two. The wire's got a slight hook on one end. Just to get it up. We'll just align it. There we go, that's in. Then we give it a quick cut over the other pin. Push it down slightly, let it slope down a little bit. There we go. Quickly tack it on the other end. fallen into place. We'll quickly fix up the joint up here. Perfect. Let it cool and hit it up here again. Lovely. And we want to make sure it doesn't come in contact with any of these components underneath. It just forms a short bridge. It's handy if you have a, a little microscope or a magnifier for this sort of work. Just quickly spray it down. Get Mr. Toothbrush in to clean it up. And that's our pin one to pin two bypass done. So now the internal speakers will work, irrespective of whether you plug in headphones or not. But the drawback is the headphone uh, port will no longer operate, so you can no longer use uh, wired headphones with the MacBook. Uh, but that's okay because most headphones are Bluetooth anyway, so it, it, it really doesn't matter. This is our new little shorted link here, and we'll just stick a little bit of tape over the top of it. Get it roughly in place so we don't sh short out with the chassis itself. We've cleaned this area down with the toothbrush and isopropylene alcohol so it should stick down pretty well. Put your battery connector back in and then put on your, uh, your bottom plate and all your screws and we'll see what happens. Okay, we have everything back together again. But can we get sound out of the internal speakers? Let's ask the guy in this YouTube video. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I totally agree with that. Sounds like a top bloke. I should subscribe to his channel one day. At the end of the day, it's not as hard as the repairers make it out to be. And hopefully this has fixed your problem. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe and we'll see you next time in the lab.